Hey, how we doing? Chris here. Uh, so I got the Trojans in. Everything's good to go. Uh, but I ran into a problem with my Blue C switch and fuse down here. So I installed a 200 amp Blue C's circuit breaker. And I'll get right to it and I'll show you what's going on here. Let me shut this here. Also put in two vents for the cabinet door for the battery bank. And I'll show you my, my work here. I had to mount it this way because of the battery lugs because this, this wire right here goes up into the positive side over here. Okay. And I put some red tape on there. I'm going to leave those open so I can do temperature measurements. And then goes up here and into the inverter and I cleaned up all that stuff too. This uh, this is one OT cable, one slash zero battery cable and what I'm going to do with thanks from advice from several people uh, is to go to two OT cable and what that's going to require is <laughs> number one money and number two, a whole bunch of connector ends. And number three, the proper crimping type uh, tool. And I got the crimper tool on order. It's a hydraulic 12 ton. And I'll do a video on how to do all that. But one, that's going to have to work for now. Uh, but here's, here's one I'm concerned about. Because I have the Outback Power VFX 3524 here power goes both ways it goes it charges this way like right now I'm charging and it also when it's inverting it pulls power off the batteries so the circuit breaker has to work both ways and right now I'm charging and it's holding so good on that but let's get let's get to the the really nasty bad stuff here and I'll show you what the hell happened so I had a blue C's M series switch in here and this is rated for 48 volts 300 amp continuous 500 amp intermittent this is the second one I've been through fellas and I'll be honest with you I'm not impressed now they do make an E series instead of the M series here they make an E series that's, that looks like it's a little bit heavier duty but this is the second one that I've been through and I don't know what the heck's going on. I'd like to call these guys and say, hey, you know, WTF. But you can actually feel these posts right here are loose. Okay? And there's a dead spot when you switch this thing to on. Right here? You, have to, you really have to force it on. So, mechanically, I don't like it. Now what I had also was an inline ANL style fuse here, 200 amp fuse, which is actually still good. This is this is excellent. This this is you know it's did its job and all this. And I used a jumper, I a homemade jumper in between. Actually, it was this way, like right here, and then to the switch here. And guess what I found there? That was kind of loosey-goosey in there, too. So, I didn't do a good job. I'll be honest with you. I should have tightened that, cranked the snot out of that and tightened that down. And then on the output of this thing, the heat shrink that I had on there was uh, coming off. So, I took my heat, my uh, laser temperature sensor, and I was getting all kinds of heat built up right around here around this whole switch and of course resistance is uh, produces heat and no bueno no bueno so I took essentially it took all this crap out and just simplified it with this and hopefully this 200 amp is gonna do the job and I also left this cable just a pinch longer because eventually I'm gonna go to four of these Trojans, or I'm sorry, eight total Trojans. I'm going to set these down lower and have another four right here and build 
build the cabinet over here, so I need to keep this cable longer. That's why you see it's kind of drooping here a little bit. But it's a good solid straight connection now too, which is good. So, all right, more later. I'm gonna uh, see how everything uh, works here and get this video uploaded. But I just wanted to show you some of my work here. And like I said before, I'm gonna upgrade the two watt cable with good connectors and, a, and crimpers and all that stuff later on when I get the funds. So, hey, thanks for watching guys and appreciate you guys watching uh, these videos and I really enjoy doing them to help you guys and not to make the mistakes that I make because <laughs> I make a heck of a lot of them but we all learn we all grow and we get better at this and I think this is gonna work out much better so all right take care later